latest of videos in which I try to communicate something that is of utmost importance to our fledgling organization, Planet Orchestra, and I have just um, come to realize, to put it in words, that Planet Orchestra needs to be an organization that masters a very important function, which is to help other, others learn very difficult things. In particular, we're trying to help children how to play the violin. Pretty soon, we're going to start trying to help children learn how to play the trumpet and hopefully the rest of the orchestral instruments. And for this video, finally, I have some help. And this help comes from a very fascinating book called How to Read a Book. And I will read a couple of pages for you. And I want you, as I read this, I want you to replace the word or the activity skiing for learning to play the violin or learning to play any other instrument. And so here I go. From many rules to one habit. Reading is like skiing. When done well, when done by an expert, both reading and skiing are graceful, harmonious activities. When done by a beginner, both are awkward, frustrating, and slow. Learning to ski is one of the most humiliating experiences an adult can undergo. That is one reason to start young. After all, an adult has been walking for a long time. He knows where his feet are. He knows how to put one foot in front of the other in order to get somewhere. But as soon as he puts skis on his feet, it is as though he had to learn to walk all over again. He slips and slides, falls down, has trouble getting up, gets his skis crossed, tumbles again, and generally looks and feels like a fool. Even the best instructor seems at first to be of no help. The ease with which the instructor performs actions that he says are uh, simple but that the student secretly believes are impossible is almost insulting. How can you remember everything the instructor says you have to remember? Bend your knees, look down the hill, keep your weight on the downhill ski, keep your back straight, but nevertheless lean forward. The admonitions seem endless. How can you think about all that and still ski? The point about skiing, of course, is that you should not be thinking about, thinking about the separate acts that together make a smooth turn or series of linked turns. Instead, you should merely be looking ahead of you down the hill, anticipating bumps and other skiers, enjoying the feel of the cold wind on your cheeks, smiling with pleasure, and the fluid grace of your body as you speed down the mountain. In other words, you must learn to forget the separate acts in order to perform all of them and indeed any of them. Well, but in order to forget them as separate acts, you have to learn them first as separate acts. Only then can you put them together to become a good skier. It is the same with reading. Probably you have been reading for a long time too, and starting to learn all over again can be humiliating but it is just as true of reading as it is of skiing that you cannot coalesce a lot of different acts into one complex harmonious performance until you become expert at each of them. You cannot telescope the different parts of the job so that they run into one another and fuse intimately. Each separate act requires your full attention while you are doing it. After you have practiced the parts separately, you can not only do each with greater facility and less attention, but can also gradually put them together into a smoothly running whole. All of this is common knowledge, 
about learning a complex skill. We say it here merely because we want you to realize that learning to read is at least as complex as learning to ski or to typewrite or to play tennis or to play the violin. If you can recall your patience in any other learning experiences you have had, you will be more tolerant of instructors who will shortly enumerate a long list of rules for reading. And here I may add, uh, instructors should be mindful of what a difficult thing we're trying uh, our little kids to, to do. The person who has had one experience in acquiring a complex skill knows that he need not fear the array of rules that present themselves at the beginning of something new to be learned. He knows that he does not have to worry about how all the separate acts in which he must become separately proficient are going to work together. In other words, we really need to eliminate the fear, the frustration of learning individual little skills. We need to help children learn these individual skills separately with no pressure, with no pain. Uh, the multiplicity of the rules indicates the complexity of the one habit to be formed, not a plurality of distinct habits. The parts coalesce and telescope as each reaches the stage of automatic execution, when all the subordinate acts can be done more or less automatically, you have formed the habit of the whole performance. Then you can think about tackling an expert run you have never skied before or reading a book that you once thought was too difficult for you. At the beginning, the learner pays attention to himself and his skill in the separate acts. When the acts have lost their separateness, in the skill of the whole performance, the learner can at last pay attention to the goal that the technique he has acquired enables him to reach. To sum up, at Planet Orchestra, we need to make sure that the scarce weekly sessions that we provide our children contain components of individual skills to be looked at to be to, to go over every week every week we should start with uh, the simple acts of bow running the bow over the string of using our fingers of putting the violin on the neck all of these thank you talk to you later